Hello, the target of this e-presentation is to introduce a new version of Controller Area Network, CAN, Bus Protection. There is a large number of ESD and EOS standards. Some of them are dedicated to automotive applications. For data lines in automotive, the standard to be considered is ISO 10605. Car electronic systems are becoming increasingly complex as they become more fuel efficient and include ever more safety and comfort equipment. To limit the cost and weight that would be incurred with the increased wiring, designers now use buses. One of these buses is the Controller Area Network CAN bus, mainly used for safety equipment, while the LIN bus is more suited to comfort equipment. The CAN bus is used in chassis and safety as well as engine and powertrain subsystems where reliable functionality is imperative. So effective protection from ESD and EOS is not an option. There are many bus interfaces used in automotive applications. Some of them are limited to infotainment whereas CAN is covering a variety of subsystems and is implemented everywhere. As cars get more complex, the number of CAN interfaces will continue to increase. CAN bus topology is made of three wires, CAN high, CAN low, and ground. These lines must be 24 volt tolerant in case of 24 volt jump start, but the maximum voltage must be limited in case of over voltage. This limit is often at 40 volts due to integrated circuit technology. ST Microelectronics introduced several years ago a CAN protection called ESD CAN 24-2BLY. TLP measurement is a method to test ESD response by measuring clamping voltage at a given surge current. TLP have been performed to compare competition products and ST's ESD CAN 24. This is generally measured around 16 amps to match with the ESD standards. The TLP curve shows an advantage for ST as the clamping voltage is lower during the TLP test at 16 amps. However, the difference is small, 1 volt. Both products are very close to the 40 volt limit of the circuit to be protected. The same test has been performed on ESD CAN 01-2 BLY. At 16 amperes, the clamping voltage has been improved by 7 volts versus competition. This 7 volt improvement increases the safety margin to keep 40 volt ICs safe. The three curves show the behavior ST ESD CAN products and a competitor's device. Integrated circuits often use a 40 volt technology. Having a higher overvoltage may be risky. The ESD CAN 01 is the only device with a clamping voltage below 40 volts after 30 nanoseconds. This is 9 volts better than our competitor. The ESD CAN 01 has the lowest clamping voltage and is compatible with the 40 volt technology. The same tests have been done on the three products at 25 kilovolts, a much higher stress than the standard. In this case, the clamping voltage after 30 nanoseconds is higher than 40 volts and the difference between the three products is bigger. The ESD CAN 01 clamping voltage is 20 volts lower than the competitors. The ESD CAN 01 has the lowest clamping voltage. This is a comparison between the same competitor 1 and ST's old ESD CAN 24, showing a similar behavior when subjected to ISO 7637 Pulse 3. The curves are the same for both products. This confirms the TLP test. Both devices are similar. During the ISO 7637-2 Pulse 3A, the clamping voltage is also reduced by 8% from 31.2 to 28.7 volts. The ESD CAN 01 has the lowest clamping voltage. During the ISO 7637-2 Pulse 3B, the clamping voltage is also reduced by 3 volts. 
Again, the ESD CAN01 has the lowest clamping voltage. Now, let's compare both ST devices. Both show a lower clamping voltage for ISO 7637 and 8x20 microsecond pulses for the new ESD CAN01 for the same standoff voltage of 24 volts. If we compare our competitor 1 device with our ESD CAN01, it becomes clear that the competitor considers its device as standard, with no automotive specific consideration nor measurement. The only surge measurements are made with an 8 by 20 microsecond surge. Our ESD CAN 01-2 BLY is specified with an 8 by 20 microsecond surge, mainly for reference and comparison with competition, but also according to the ISO 7637 pulse. This statement is also valid for the second competitor's device. The second competitor device is not rated according to ISO 7637-3. And besides, the clamping voltage for the same 8x20 microsecond surge is limited to 40 volts on the ESD CAN01 versus 41 volts on the competitor device for the same standoff voltage. Most silicone component parameters are specified at 25 degrees Celsius, but in cars, the temperature can reach much higher levels, especially when located close to the engine. Data sheets from competitors include the power capability versus junction temperature curve. This curve starts from the power capability given in the previous page of the data sheet, generally at 25 degrees Celsius, and derates to 0 watts at high temperature. On the left curve, the first competitor gives the power capability at 25 Celsius degrees and derates to 0 at 150 degrees. On the middle curve, the second competitor gives the power capability at 0 degrees and derates to 0 at 150 degrees. ESD CAN 01-2 BLY power capability remains 230 watts up to 120 degrees and starts to derate to 200 watts at 150 degrees. ESD CAN 01-2 BLY demonstrates the best behavior at high temperature for use in harsh environments. On this slide, the previous curves are resized to get the same scale on the y-axis. Obviously, the second competitor in the middle gets the advantage at 0 degrees Celsius, but above 50 degrees, ST's ESD CAN 01-2 BLY has definitely the best surge capability. This page is a single slide summary for the ESD CAN 24 with the product key features and benefits we presented. This one is for the new version ESD CAN 01. Evidently, the difference between the two is at the clamping voltage level. To summarize, ESD CAN01 is easy to use, as it is rated with respect to the automotive standards and provides curves with clamping voltage according to ISO 7637-2, Pulse 3A and 3B. ESD CAN01 provides a better protection of the CAN transceiver because the clamping voltage has been reduced versus the original ESD CAN24 according to ISO 7637 surges and ISO 10605. ESD CAN01 can be located in harsh environments because it maintains its surge capability of 230 watts up to 120 degrees Celsius. For more information, visit our website at www.st.com/esdcan01. Thank you for your attention.